This scene shows ants digging a nest hole. As one ant digs a hole, another clears away the bits it has dug out. How do ants cooperate with each other? Today, let's explore how ants build their nests. Ta-da! With this special blue-colored gel, you can observe how ants construct their nests. Similar products are available online overseas in various shapes and sizes. If you're curious how ants build their nests, try observing them at home. Now, let's take a look. Today, we're focusing on the ants that build nests. This is what they look like. These ants are known as the Japanese carpenter ant, or Camponatus japonica, and are the largest ant species in Japan. If you magnify them under a microscope, this is what they look like. Under magnification, they appear a bit creepy. By the way, don't you think ants resemble bees? From their scissor-like mandibles to their body structures and abdominal shapes, they bear a striking resemblance to bees. In fact, ants and bees are phylogenetically very close relatives. They share many similarities in their behaviors, such as living in groups divided into several classes and building nests. First, I made a small hole in the gel with a stick, placed an ant inside, and soon saw it enter the hole like this. Isn't it cute? I then placed several ants together and observed them. Interestingly, they were constantly kissing each other instead of digging. Upon closer inspection, they were exchanging some kind of liquid through their mouths. This behavior, known as nutrient exchange, involves ants sharing saliva to communicate and strengthen their bond. However, the ants in this container did not build a nest but continued this nutrient exchange for several days. So we transferred new individuals to another container to observe them more promptly. The next day, we noticed a lot of material piled up around the holes. The ants had begun to construct a nest in earnest. As I watched them build their nest, I noticed they were chewing the gel with their large jaws, carrying the pieces outside and stacking them up. Surprisingly, instead of both ants digging independently, one ant would carry the gel pieces halfway, and the other would take them the rest of the way outside. As the digging progressed, they became more efficient at working together. In this way, we observed how smoothly they worked together, such as receiving the pieces of gel with their mouths as they emerged. Isn't it fascinating? This cooperation is made possible because ants communicate through nutrient exchanges and volatile chemicals called pheromones as mentioned earlier. Besides pheromones, ants use various communication methods, such as leading others to food sources and alerting them to danger. They are incredibly intelligent, aren't they? After about four days, a rather extensive nest was formed. Ants' nests expand in many directions like this. In nature, ants' nests are even more complex. Each chamber serves a specific purpose, such as housing the queen, caring for eggs and larvae, and storing food. Some ant species even cultivate fungi in their chambers for food, a clever survival strategy. Ants are truly fascinating insects, aren't they? And finally, ants are divided into different classes within their colonies, each class looking distinct. Do you know how ant ranks are divided? We plan to show you a video about ant ranks and their growth process, so stay tuned if you're interested. That's all for this video. Uncovering the mysteries with science. This was Fishy Science.